Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to more Brotato Abyssal Terrors DLC. We are going to be going in, of course, on the new Abyss map with the next character, the Diver. You start with a harpoon gun, which is the one that pulls them closer to you. You get five melee damage, elemental damage, and engineering, which is interesting. In the patch that I'm playing that just came out today, it was changed. You used to gain HP regen from melee damage, and I guess that was taken away. But, alright. Enemies take 300% more damage for 3 seconds whenever hit by ranged damage. But, minus 100% or minus 100 ranged damage. And plus 100% enemy health. So, it's a, it's a weird thing. It's basically, it's kind of like the... Instead of fire chef, it is ranged damage diver. Like, we want to hit things with ranged damage, but we don't want to use ranged damage as damage it's more of like a debuff that we place on enemies so one thing immediately jumps out to me as the obvious thing here and that would be cacti club it is a melee weapon that just has a bonus little effect where you throw out projectiles that do range damage right that just seems so logical with this where you you take cacti club you go for melee but, okay, well, everything is just going to die anyways right here because it's the early wave. But that's a, that's a pretty big boost. 56 damage! 56 damage! All right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> the harpoon gun. Why, why would you do that? Just absorbed it right in my face. Penguin, sure. HP regen, why not? Uh, we could get a little bit of percentage damage. We could get a little bit of luck. I think percentage damage makes sense with something like the Cacti Club. Revolver. Oh, man, it's just, it's almost insulting that we even get that stuff, like, offered to us here. Grab a Cacti Club. Don't mind if I do. Gonna stack those suckers for 15 max HP, 25% damage. Cacti Club, absolutely, like, the dream for set bonuses. Okay, I don't know about the Harpoon, man. But we're the Diver, so it feels like we're supposed to have it, but, like... I'm not, I'm not loving, I'm not loving what it's doing to the situation here. God, that, it totally works, the Cacti Club spikes. I was worried it wasn't going to. It absolutely does. Attack speed sounds nice here. We could get Cute Monkey, because again, we don't care about range damage. I'm just going to get more Cacti Club. Uh, I'll lock a tree. I'll lock a Lumberjack shirt. Lumberjack shirt on uh, Cacti Club runs, I really like because if you hit a tree with your little tiny uh, little prickle, you know, bada bing, bada boom, it's, it dies. See, like, look at that. It, this tree would have been super dead. And it's also really worth uh, considering because any run where trees get H or enemies get HP buffs, trees get the same HP buff. And it seems like they maybe don't get debuffed for some reason. Get a little bit of harvesting, why not? Get some melee damage. Tree, lumberjack shirts. Bag. We're not we don't have the guaranteed double weapons in that shop, so I think we just chill. But yeah, I just I really, really like lumberjack shirt on uh, on runs like this, you know. Where it's just an HP penalty. Okay. Would I get something like a... Um, I wonder if I would get... I think I would get like a sharp bullet. Just to make these projectiles pierce more. Just like get that damage buff deeper in. I think it would just make uh, a lot of sense. Get the curse, get the curse. Yeah. 10% attack speed sounds great. A tree sounds great. Broken mouth is not a bad call. I just don't feel like it. Boxing glove, also not a bad call. I really like whetstone on this. Unless they... Did they change the way that uh, Lifesteal and Cacti Club works? All the little uh, the little spines used to give you Lifesteal. Does, does it still work that way? Or is that... Uh, was that a bug that was fixed? Or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't know that we can... Not really the kind of thing that you could just tell, but... 
I don't know. I think that having the harpoon gun is not too shabby. I, I think I'll keep. I think I'll keep one harpoon gun. It also feels thematically appropriate ow, for this character. Right? Like other otherwise, how are we really a diver? Look, it's 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 a it's an epic luck upgrade. Range? What's the range on these? I assumed it was fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Good, good. Roll Y? I don't know. Ugly Tooth is an idea. I might as well get the Harpoon uh, gun to level up. If we're keeping it, we it, it should level up. It's simple as that. We could even get multiple. It scales on melee, right? 100% range damage, 100% melee damage. Pulls them towards us and also slows them. I don't know. There's a there's a world in which we um, there's a world in which we get two of them for sure. What's the piercing on it? Three piercing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those guys explode into different bullets if you hit them with melee instead of range, which. I gotta say, is a genius idea, and I think that there should be, like, more enemies that have different sort of patterns based off... Of, I don't know. Nah, it's hard, it's hard to say, because exploding enemies, it's it's clear how you make that... Um, sunken bell, once per wave, you explode for a whole bunch when you fall below. So here's the problem. <laughs> you might see the problem here. It scales on range damage, which means it does one damage. I almost want it because that sounds so funny. It sounds really funny to just explode the board for one damage, but it, I mean, it's obviously bad. It's obviously bad. Give me the six melee. But yeah, this is the question. Do we take the harpoon gun as a second harpoon gun or do we just upgrade? I think we just upgrade. I think we take the one. Uh, explosion size. I don't mind the blood leech. And I think I'm going to lock the cute monkey. Minus five knockback is interesting because then the harpoon gun starts to um, pull them in even closer, which I don't know. I don't know that I want that. What's the knockback penalty from? Whetstone. If we get enough knockback and the harpoon gun starts to actually like push enemies away, that sounds sounds very funny. Did this get uh, so? 20, is it pulling them in closer with this upgraded version? I feel like it might. I feel like it uh, it may well do that. All right. I mean, so far so fine though. I feel like we. It's feeling like one of the more straightforward characters so far. And not, I mean, one of the easier early game characters. A lot of the characters have felt like uh, a little bit scarier maybe in the early game. And then they kind of like scale okay, scale to the moon in the late game. Fine. If you say something like, you know, the early game feels fine, you should probably take sell it to you. Let's take that for a free reroll. Harpoon gun? I don't really know, man. Thirty-two bucks for two HP. Mm. Jelly was added to try and shake up, I'm sure, you know, like the whole six weapon meta. Because the existence of it as a common does make it a little bit more appealing for sure. However, I'm still not convinced. There's often a right weapon for the job. You know, with a, with a, so many of the characters, there is often a correct weapon. There's some characters in which obviously that's not the case, and for those, yeah, mix and match becomes a, quite a bit better, obviously. We definitely need armor. That's why I locked it. I gotta tell you, there, there's no way that the life steal does not apply on our little, on our spines. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let's get the loot crate here. Thank you. 
I was over overestimating how tanky we were. Thank you, Celery, though. That was not that bad. Uh, Yeah, you take Tentacle, and then you, you go Tentacle. Percentage damage. Let's go for the armor. I know we just got Tentacle, but after that, I felt... <laughs> uh, Wandering Bot is actually pretty darn good here, I think. I don't mind the range as well. I think this is maybe... Yeah, this is maybe like the kind of... It's the kind of run that a Wandering Bot is nice. Runs that you kind of need to like... Dodge and weave through enemies. Wandering Bot becomes way better. Okay. All right, this, yeah, this is feeling, this is feeling a lot better. Obviously, we have Peacock. If we get hit, do not get too scared. I'm talking to myself here. If I get hit, do not get too scared. Because, whoop, we got Peacock. So that's obviously going to make things look a lot worse. And it's not even that bad, because we also, we know, we got armor at the same time. Did they intentionally make Wave 9, like, nasty on this, on the Abyss? Because Wave 9 on the original map is kind of like the dream wave. Like, it's kind of a nice, easy, breezy wave. Take the HP. Attack speed's great. Percentage damage. Obliterator. Two damage! <laughs> That just absolutely pays for itself. Sure. Especially with the boost to our harvesting there. Feels a little... I mean, it's not too late to take Econ picks. Especially when they are, like, as good as Tractor for Econ. But obviously, it's a percentage damage down. I think we're going to need to... What do we have for armor? Four armor. Four armor, 47 HP. I don't know, man. I think we're fine. We're fine for survivability, maybe for a little bit. Like, we got... We saw what it felt like to get hit by, um... By something on a peacock wave, and it wasn't that bad. Okay. Do we release the bait boy? I think we release the bait boy just so that we can... Get the, get the curse. Yep. Yeah, obviously a little bit sketchy. Yeah. Cacti Club... Cacti Club Lifesteal, like, that's really the thing here. That's just the truth. Cacti Club Lifesteal is so silly. Because we have such a small amount, and we're getting, like, juiced up. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not how I'm going to play this one. I'm going to say no to metal. We'll get some crits, get some attack speed. I do want Lifesteal if it shows up, though. I want to I wanna make sure we get some damage. The crazy thing is, minigun's not a bad choice. Okay, this is... Not the way I wanted to get stronger. I mean, I'm not... It's all good. One extra knockback means this will pull them a little bit less close. I would not be upset if they uh, didn't get pulled immediately to my face. That'd be kind of nice. Five piercing. I do like that it slows them down. That mixed with the wandering bot is kind of an interesting little build that we get here. I still don't know what the uh, calamari samurai man does. Not quite sure. But it is what it is. We'll find out someday. I'm sure, like, is he the one that does, like, the random buffs on enemies, maybe? Like, maybe. Because I don't think I figured out where that comes from. And I'm, no, I'm not talking about the curse. I'm talking about the actual, like, red buffs. I don't know. It, it, it's, it still didn't happen there either. So, like, hard, hard to tell. Hard to say. More attack speed. I mean, Lifesteal was there, too. Dude, I mean, you see, you see Legendary, you take Legendary. 34 luck. Yeah. Another tentacle? It feels weird right now. I 
I'm not taking celery tea on a horde wave, you goon. Come on. Have some kind of goofball. 89% pickup range? 29% damage for two seconds after picking up a consumable? Yo? That's really good. That's so good. Um, Cacti Club lifesteal angle on a horde wave is just like, yeah, thank you. 86% damage. Oh, is it at, wait, it's at full health? No? I think it might be bugged. It's not working. At the very least, it's not working over there. If anything, I would assume it's probably just like the cursed one doesn't work. I just wanted to test if we could if we could be in this sort of standstill kill camp. It's just sort of. Oh. Oh mama. It's worth it for the pickup range. Armor's good. Hit me with the uh That's survivability and damage with our current build. Because we have two tentacles. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. I, why not? Uh, kind of funny. I think I like a blindfold here. All right. Move it. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. I like this. I like I like the the sort of like hit them with a type of damage. This and Chef like hit them with a type of damage so that you can kill them with a different type of damage. I think that's a fun it's a fun design space to play around with with your build. Sixty nine percent damage. Ninety eight percent damage. Okay, no, it's working. Is working. It's only for three seconds, I'm aware. It is, it is indeed. Okay. Just give me a horde wave every time, dude. We, the more enemies, the stronger we are. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The more enemies, the stronger this build is. Take the legendary, but obviously, I want I want both, dude. Sure. Meow. Huge range up. I mean, range up on this seems just kind of interesting because we can just hit a lot deeper into the uh, into the crowd, spread the thorns even further. I've called them so many different things this episode. But yeah, I mean, lifesteal, I do want it, but like clearly, we have 6% lifesteal. Look at how well it's working. God, we get to 10, we're darn near capping out. It's not quite true, obviously, but. But yeah, it's a little bit weird because I don't think you, you can't hit the enemy. If you hit an enemy with the Cacti Club, you can't hit them with the thorns from that Cacti Club swing, so that's why we really do need multiple enemies by each other pretty reliably. The good news is this is Brotato, so like ask and receive on that front. Mm -hmm. You will you will have enemies if you want enemies. Nope. Yeah, just cuz I kind of want the knockback. Ooh, 4 HP from consumables for such a low cost. 
Uh, I mean. Thank you. Back to 22 on that sucker. So, Horde Wave, good. We do have to deal with the bait boys, but, like, again, it's just more enemies, like I said. Not a problem. But, like, 10 life steal now, right? Yeah, 10 life steal. I'm not saying we could stand still kill the entire wave, but, like, maybe, dude. Cacti Club lifesteal. I tell ya. I tell ya. I've been I've been singing its praises, man. It's uh it's an underrated god tier weapon. Maybe you can see why. Like I don't even have a lot of lifesteal. You don't need very much to just to basically like cap out. I'm hitting like I'm in frame rate issues. Things are exploding into so much. I'm not gonna weird ghost though, because like it's stupid at this point. Get a little bit of life steal. Don't need a lot. Ah, fine. Don't need a lot. Ooh, curse coffee. I don't think we need scar anymore. Fish hook, I love it. Cursed cacti club. Let's go. Wow. Huge jump up. Huge jump up. In both the melee and the range scaling. I mean, like, obviously, we pretty much only care about the uh, the one, the melee. But that is interesting. Right, why did I even bother with Cute Monkey? Um, let's get jerky. Let's let's just give it a go. Healing over time instead of instantly sounds kind of sounds kind of nice. All right. Someone's gonna have to hit me. For me to see something. Okay, these guys are... Those guys were buffed. Uh, could I stand still kill? Yeah, I think I can. I think I... I think I can. Do I want to? Yeah. Nah, but I just want to run the test, right? It's more fun to play the video game than to stand still. At this point, for sure. We can we can afford the drop off. Give me more attack speed. More attack speed is uh, is more life steal and everything as well. Corrupted shard because curse is fun. Three melee damage and engineering at the end of the wave. Okay, so like I'll take it. Let's get minus one max HP. I don't care about the max HP. Like. We have the scaling. It's like only 20% scaling, but obviously. Sure, sure is kind of what I have to say about that. I feel like... If you get that item early, holy though. Holy though. Especially on a... Uh, God, if you get that on Dwarf... Who did get a little bit tweaked, I think. No, I think he just got his, his uh, tags swapped around. Like, he was tagged for melee damage, and I think that that uh, was janking up his runs. Which, I guess he's... So he's probably t uh, tagged for melee damage and engineering, and you don't really want to find that much engineering stuff. Or, sorry. You don't really want to find that much melee stuff. You want to find the engineering stuff. So I guess if he is tagged for engineering and melee, and then he's changed to now just be melee, that is probably just a nice boost, right? God, this is how you really know that we're, like, getting it. We're, we're coasting to the finish line on this sucker. I'm talking about other characters. <laughs> okay. Yo. I don't have that much engineering, so it's like, I don't know if I need to really go for that. 
What does this do? One max HP for every nine enemies you kill. That's kind of fun. Max HP for every permanent armor you have. I don't really care. Bandana, I think, is worth it. I think that's worth it. Again, we kind of just want to... We want this guy to be in a group of enemies. Otherwise, we don't have as much success here. But you can see how, like, yeah. When, when we're fighting just, like, a guy... Yeah. Build falls apart a little bit. Which is why, like, I am not... I'm completely confident for every single thing except for the final bosses in which I'm... I'd say I'm, like... I'm at, like, an 85. All right. That, that it's gonna be that is gonna be just pretty straightforward easy the waves up to the final boss I'm at a hundred I'm uh, I I like to hedge my bets but I'm at a hundred percent that we are like gonna smoke this and wave in the next wave obviously it would have something pretty crazy would have to happen sure yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a worthy trade-off for sure. Let's get crit chance. The one negative knockback right now. Whistle this late is so funny, but okay. Um, community support is kind of like the opposite of what we need help with. I love the new little curse effect on the weapons. At this point of the run, I actually think like we genuinely could be rocking double harpoon gun and it would be worth it. But meh. It just does two damage. No, it wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> I've, I forgot about that part. It's probably better to ditch it then, right? I don't know. It's, I don't want to get rid of it because it's thematic to the character, though. It feels right. Like, if I'm the diver and I don't even have a harpoon gun, I don't know, man. I don't know. It feels wrong. It is yoinking a lot of fools in. Oh. Oh, oh, see, 85%. That's why I made 85%. That was standing still, though, so, like... Um... I don't know if I care about this, right? Like, I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth the, the price or the range down right now. Ooh. 160% of your HP. Ooh. Uh, Pearl, sure. I mean, it's a little bit late, but whatever. More attack speed. Armor. Oh my god, I forgot we had this. Um, okay. So we'll get 13 melee damage. I mean, the 15 range damage is not really anything. Okay. Getting shackles as well is kind of funny. Yeah, no, we definitely don't want another harpoon gun. I think I'm going to roll for... Uh, I was going to say, roll for a cacti club. It's cursed, but, like, meh. Where the hell are the cacti clubs? Wow! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I think it's worth it. Might as well roll and see what we got here. Uh, the fact that sure. got pretty good attack speed. Yes, yes, he's living. He's, li he's living pretty good. Oh, and then he walked into a group of enemies. <laughs> and then he walked into a group of enemies. Okay. 
Let's go. That was definitely the easy. Yo. That was definitely the easiest uh, character so far, and it was not particularly close. I gotta be honest, the creature felt pretty easy to me as well, but 20% uh, materials drop from enemies. Always a, like, that's just gonna be a busted line in this game. That's just, that's just always gonna be busted. And 10 harvesting, but enemy damage up 10%. As far as I'm concerned, this is an always take on every run forever. Like, what run is this not good on? Like, what run is this not good on? Even on a, even a run where you don't get the harvesting boost? What run is this not good on, right? There's got to be one. There's got to be one that this... Like, I bet you we're going to find... Okay, here's here's the situation in which star, I can see Starfish being uh, bad, is if it's crazy expensive. That's the only situation in, in which I see this being bad, is if it's like... If it's like three times the price of a normal epic. Or, or... Let's talk about the obvious. You get it on, you know, wave 18 or 19. Yeah, no, it doesn't really matter anymore then, does it? Uh, alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for the day. Really enjoyed that run because it was a nice break from, like, the uh, a little bit more sweaty characters that we've been having to, uh, you know, not having to, like, the characters, that they've been a little bit sweatier for sure. Uh, and Diver was just like a nice clean break. I can't imagine how strong the Diver was when he had his old effect. It was like, um, for every, I guess I could just pull up the patch notes right here. I have them on the other side. Um, for every one HP regen for every two melee damage he has was his old effect. Gotta be honest, I, I wish that that effect was maybe still there. I think that that would be fun. That being said, is he still really absurdly overpowered? Yes, but I kind of like that. I don't think that we need to nerf him or anything like that. But I also, I, I will put it out there that I wouldn't be upset if um, he got his old passive back, but the enemies take 250% more damage for three seconds when hit by range damage. You know, I wouldn't be upset if he he got that, that fun old passive back and then he got like a little nerf somewhere else instead. Because like... It's it's that's a fun one. Uh, then again, like how does what does that really have to do with diver? I guess I don't know. Alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Ace Morphus and I will see you next time. Bye bye.